Good morning, dear children. Welcome back to the class. So, what we have done in our previous class, children? What type of sources of light should we use? How can we save our electricity? And which source of light is harmful to the environment? Isn't it? And light as heat. So, how can we use sunlight for heating water? And how can we use sunlight for cooking food? You know, children. that we can use sunlight for heating water with the help of solar water heater with the help of solar water heater we can this it consumes sunlight and with the help of this we can heat water and with the help of children solar cooker we can cook or heat food clear so the objective of the class is recapitulation of lesson 7 sources of light today we are going to recap the lesson children the topics which we have studied in this lesson so let's start let's start the class children with lesson sources of light today we will recapitulate the lesson children as it is finished so what we have studied in this lesson natural and artificial sources of light discovery of fire as a source of light electricity as a source of light and light as heat we have come across all these topics so do you remember all these topics children okay so what we have studied in this lesson children can you name an organ which help us to see the things around us it is eyes isn't it but why we are unable to see in the dark because our eyes can help us to see things only in the presence of light now children question arises where do we get light from we get light from two sources can you name those two sources natural sources and artificial sources so artificial sources are also called children man made sources why it is called man made sources children because the artificial sources of light are made by man made by human beings and natural sources of light are not made by human beings can you give two examples of natural source of light children the sun and the stars the sun and the stars children have their own light can we switch on or switch off these lights no it has its own light and so it is called it has its own natural light children so it is called natural source of light and if it is asked name uh, the most important natural source of light which is the most important natural source of light the sun the sun is the most natural source of most important natural source of light clear about the natural sources now we will move to artificial sources artificial sources children of light are made by human beings and what are these things which are made by human things human beings so electric bulb kerosene lamp oil lamp and candle these are some of the uh, sources of light artificial sources of light which are made by human beings clear next we have studied about the discovery of fire as a source of light now children you know that in ancient time there were no elect uh, artificial sources of light was there any artificial sources of light no human being could only hunt and gather food during the day time why is it so children why they could not hunt and gather food after sunset because our eyes help us to see only in the presence of light isn't it then human discovered fire by rubbing flint by rubbing flint children they discovered fire this fire then they could this help them to get light even after sunset they could also guard their caves from dangerous animals with the help of fire clear so they could uh, they could guard their caves from dangerous animals as animals are afraid of fire clear so how did how did they use fire as a source of light children they started burning firewood 
humans would burn firewood for light as the time went on children then they started using oil lamps candles and lanterns keep know the sequence children first they used only the nat uh, natural source of light then after the discovery of fire they started using uh, this fire as a source of light they they would burn firewood for light then comes children they started using oil lamps candles and lanterns clear this sources of light children does not requires electricity once the electricity was discovered after the discovery of electricity humans started using electric lamps as a source of light these appliances children these uh, uh, these things requires electricity okay this electric lamps electric bulbs they could uh, they could use these things to light up their homes clear this was possible only after the discovery of electricity next children what sources of light should we use now question arises here which we have already studied we should try to use sunlight which is the main source of natural light to the maximum it is the cheapest sources of light children it is the cheapest the electricity which we use at home to light up our homes children it costs we pay every month bill for it we pay money for it isn't it so but if you use sunlight so you, it is one of the cheapest source of light okay now how can we use sunlight as a light children so we can use solar panels solar panels children what this device does capture light and convert it to electricity as we have already seen in video children how it capture light and convert it to electricity the electricity this electricity children can be used to light our homes in the night so we are saving our electricity here isn't it and it becomes one of the cheapest source of light next artificial sources of light like electric bulbs need electricity to give out light these appliances children like led bulb uh, like uh, electric bulbs it le requires electricity this electricity is limited so we should use light sources which use less electricity children we should try to save electricity and how is it possible we should use led bulbs tube lights and cfl bulbs these bulbs children these lights have consume less electricity okay so this is how in the second this is the second way children we can save our electricity clear next moreover we should switch off the lights when not in use the third way to save uh, elect uh, this children electricity is we should switch off the lights when we when we are not using okay some artificial sources of light cause harm to the environment can you name the artificial source of light that cause harm to the environment children it is kerosene lamps why because it give out smoke and smoke is not good children it is harmful to the environment all the living beings we should try to avoid the use of such harmful sources clear children next many light sources also give us heat the last last point was what children light as heat light as heat so many light sources where there is light gives us give us heat we use fire for cooking as it provides heat do do you agree we use fire for cooking as it provides heat with the heat of fire children our food gets cooked we can use sunlight for heating water so we can use sunlight for heating water and cooking food with the help of solar heater and solar cooker clear we can cook and we can 
हीट वाटर चिल्ड्रेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ सोलर वाटर हीटर एंड वी कैन कुक फूड विद द हेल्प ऑफ सोलर कुकर नाउ चिल्ड्रेन दिस इज योर सोलर वाटर हीटर दिस इज अ डिवाइस दैट कैप्चर सन लाइट्स टू हीट वाटर दिस इज अ टैंक चिल्ड्रेन दिस वाइट एंड ब्लू कलर यू कैन सी दिस इज अ टैंक इट कंटेंस वाटर एंड दीज आर द ट्यूब्स विच कैप्चर सन लाइट ओके एंड दिस इज हाउ चिल्ड्रेन द वॉटर इन द टैंक गेट्स हीटेड अप क्लियर सो दिस दिस वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दिस डिवाइस सोलर वॉटर हीटर क्लियर नेक्स्ट सोलर कुकर a solar cooker is a device which uses the energy of direct sunlight to heat and cook food if we want to heat our food it is already prepared and we want to he we want to heat the food children it can be heated and also if you want the food to be cooked it can be cooked in solar cooker can you see this children the container inside the box is the uh, container of having food that to be cooked how this container containing the food will be cooked children now you just see can you see the sun the ray of the sun falls in the mirror in this mirror okay so this glass and it reflects back here and again there is a glass sheet cover there is one this is one glass sheet glass sheet and there is again one glass sheet cover now when it the reflection falls on this glass children it reflects back when the ray falls it reflects back down and children it gets the heat of the sun falls this way in the on the container okay and you can see the box the outer box is made of wood this is your solar cooker clear with the help of solar solar cooker children uh, we can heat and we can cook our food clear so children that's all for today Thank you so much and if you have any doubt you can ask me